is this. God is always working even in the wait. When we talk about the sovereignty of God, man, you can't escape this, this reality. Sometimes we wonder where God is. Sometimes we're just like, this circumstance is so crazy, and I just don't understand why God has left me alone. Maybe you feel like God has just abandoned you. And it may be, it could be any number of things, from an occupation to a family crisis to a financial situation. And, and you may be just at the end of your rope, and you may feel like there's no way. I don't understand. How in the world can there be a God if he's left me alone in this situation, left me alone in this circumstance? But Scripture teaches us that even when we don't feel him, God is there. And that's why it's so important that we not, that we not rest on our emotions. Some people even talk about worshiping God purely in emotional uh, words and terms. And I, I'd be, I'm always really careful with that because, look, emotionally, you can feel saved and be lost. You can feel lost and be saved. I mean, just think about it. When you wake up in the morning, um, do you always feel like being married? Don't answer that, man. Amen? But look, the way you feel, the way you feel doesn't change who you are. You know? And, and the reality is that God has purchased you. You are one of his sons, and your identity now is found in him. It's not found in your circumstances. It's not found in your feelings. And so you could have an emotional experience, and it, it'd be heartburn. <laughs> and not God really doing something in your life, in your heart. So, so recognize it's not just about emotions. God is always working. And so when you are sad and your circumstances have you in a, a, a position of depression and discouragement, listen, God is bigger than your feelings. God is bigger than those problems. He's bigger than your circumstances. And God, we have to remember, we have to go back to what we've learned about who God is. Because it's not just about one verse, it's about the entire Bible. So who is God? Who is this God? He's a God who can be trusted. He's a God who can be trusted no matter what I face, no matter what my circumstances, no matter how far away I am from where I want to be, no matter how bad things happen, no matter how things didn't go my way, no matter where I'm at, I can trust this because God were tells me God's word so true in it. It tells us, look, that God is always working, even in the wait. God is always working, even when we don't feel him. Uh, here's the scripture, verse 28 of chapter 8 in Romans says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Now the, the language there, the, the terminology there in the Greek, gives us this idea. If we were to read it straight out of the Greek, it would literally say, and we know that God is working in all things, or all things are working. God is working in all things. He's presently working. He's working in an ongoing process. God does not just work in the past. He is working in your process right now. In your life right now, in your journey right now, you may feel like he's not there. God is working. If you love him and if you're called according to his purpose, God is working. Even in the weight, God is working. Even in the pain, God is working. Even in the death, maybe the separation from a loved one, God is working. God has not left you alone. And God can be trusted in that circumstance. This is so important. It's a foundational understanding of the sovereignty of God, that God is sovereign and he can be trusted. 